Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com and I'm going to show you our new audio widgets and just how easy they are to use. Now first, let's take a look at the um, audio package here. Let's see what's in the pack here. We have our installation guide, but it's literally a case of just double clicking on the audio widget library to install it into Muse. Uh, files to upload. Now it's important that you upload all of these files. These include the um, scripts that run the audio player, some additional scripts to run in older browsers, the um, image, the graphics for the players themselves. This is a backup graphic in case these images failed, and this is a test sample audio file. So we need to upload those first. But let's install the widget. So I'm just going to double click on that. That's now installed into Muse, and we can see here we've got Muse Grid Audio, and we have our audio button, audio scrubber, and audio time, audio scrubber with time. Now, currently, you can't, if we drag these onto the page, you won't be able to preview the widgets, and this is because they need to connect to the script live when it's on the server. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, let's open up our browser here and go to MuseGrid and we'll take a look at the widgets online so we can see what they look like. So here we have, in our, if we go to preview widget here, we can see that these are the basic widgets as they go onto the page. So we have the audio button, the audio scrubber and the audio scrubber with the time coding. And uh, when you click the unit, you can see here that the audio starts playing. This is downloading the audio at the moment. We have another track here. And you can see the little scrubber here playing as the, pro, as the um, audio plays. And we can do lots of things with these audio buttons. So that's what they look like. So let's go back to Muse. So this is the audio button here. And um, we have the options to choose the audio file. Now, um, Muse will upload the files to uh, a folder called Assets. So we've already put that in there. So you just put, need to put the whatever the audio file is, .mp3. The player color, so that relates to the background color of the player itself. Whether you want it to autoplay on start, um, whether you want to loop the audio and preloading. Then we have the ability to change the transparency so we can see that we can go up and down the transparency settings there and also corner radius so we can take this widget from being a square to rounded corners to a complete circle. If we take a look at the settings for the other two widgets we have some additional settings here we have the ones that we just saw but we've also got um, we can change the background color of the loading bar and also the song progress color so that's the color overlay there so once we've got these on our page what we need to do then is add the files for upload so we so far all we've done is drag them onto the page we're going to go to file add files for upload and then we're going to navigate to our desktop so we'll go to our audio player here and we'll open up our audio package files to upload we're going to select all of those just like that and click open if we go to our assets panel then we can see that all of these files have got uh, an arrow next to them to say that they are going to be uploaded. So we'll go ahead now and publish that and then we'll come back and see what it looks like online. So we can see our page has now been uploaded and we can see our little graphics uh, our players here. So if we click, sure enough it plays and as, you, as the um, unit plays we can see that the um, progress bar moves along and the timer works correctly. Now let's just do some modifications on these. So I'm going to go back to the page here. Now if I select this and um, let's say for instance let's put a background image here. So let's place an image. Uh, let's go to my desktop and let's just take this uh, image from um, a recent um, template that we uploaded. So I'm going to arrange and send that to the back and we'll just place these widgets over the top so we'll be able to see them like this. So this one here I'm going to set the corner radius to 100. So we're going to turn that into a circle and we're going to set this to 0.7 and color wise what, how do we change the color? Well the easiest way I found is to just put a block on the page 
and then to go to our swatches, choose a color swatch, let's say this dark brown here, and we can get the hex from there. We can just copy that and then just paste that in, like so. And we can do similar with these files as well. So I'm just going to change these settings now, um, change the color settings, and we'll see what they look like when we upload them. So as we can see here now, I actually swapped out the image for a different one, but we can see here that we've now turned this, what was a square um, black little button here into a round button, still works perfectly well. This one we've added a lighter color and we've dropped the transparency and added corners. And then this one we've added a darker color, we've put some transparency on it and we have our scroll bar matching some of the colors here. So you can see that it's very straightforward and easy to modify these uh, audio widgets to however you, you wish to match them with your site and to add them to any site that you want audio on. Thanks for watching.